Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little cardigan sweater for babies between six and nine months old. Now, I made this little sweater to match the baby blanket that I showed you last week. Up here on the right hand corner, I'll leave the link to this baby blanket, so be sure to check that out. Now, the little cardigan sweater that we're going to make in the tutorial is for babies between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also in the information box i'll leave the link to my etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern okay let's get started but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in english and in spanish don't forget to subscribe share my tutorials and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching Okay, to begin, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is an E hook or a number five. And the yarn that I'm going to be using is DK weight yarn. This is the yarn that I'm using. It's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit James C. Brett. Now I'll be using in this pink color and white. White is going to be the main color here. Now you can also use a ply or a number three yarn. So here to begin, I have 62 chains. This chain here is also measuring about 32 centimeters, which is about 12.5 inches. So here to begin on the second chain from the hook, one, two, so into the second chain here, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next and so on. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 61 single crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. I have a total of 61 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now from here on, these two chains never count as a stitch. They're just here so that here along the edge, once we finish the yoke, it's nice and straight. So here to begin, on top of the first single crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. Skip one single crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. This is how we're going to continue for the second row. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have my last double crochet chain one. Here at the end, I have these last two single crochets. Into the last single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the second row. I have a total of 31 double crochets in this second row. Now for the third row, chain two and turn. Now, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Inside this chain one space, make two double crochets. On top of the next double crochet, make a double crochet. And again, inside the chain one space, two double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. Make a double crochet on top of the double crochet and into the chain one space, make two double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this third row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 91 double crochets. Here at the end to finish, I just made my last double crochet on top of the last double crochet. Make sure you have 91 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next, double crochet, chain one. This is how we're going to continue for this fourth row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Here at the end, I finished by making my last double crochet. I have a total of 46 double crochets separated by one chain. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Inside the chain one space, make two double crochets. 
In this row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did for the third row. So again, on top of the next double crochet, make a double crochet, and into the chain one space, make two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue making one double crochet, then two. One, two, one, two, all the way to the end of this fifth row. So continue like this. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now I have my last chain one space here and I have my last double crochet. Into this last chain one space here, I'm only going to make one double crochet. And now on top of the last double crochet, make your last double crochet. Now at the end of this fifth row, I have a total of 135 double crochets. Here into this last chain one space, we have to do this adjustment so that I finish with an odd number of double crochets so that the next row works out correctly when we do the double crochet chain one row. So now for the sixth row, chain two and turn, beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one double crochet make a double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one now this is how you're going to continue for the sixth row so continue and i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 68 double crochets separated by one chain. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now in this seventh row, we're going to work this row a little bit differently. We're going to start by making two double crochets into this space, then one double crochet on top of this double crochet, and then one double crochet into the next space. So we're going to do double crochet, then two, double crochet, one, double crochet, two, double crochet, one. So one, two, one, two, into the chain one spaces, and then the double crochets here, we're going to work the same thing, a double crochet. So let me show you. So here into the first chain one space, make two double crochets. On top of the double crochet, make one. Into this next space, make one double crochet, on top of the double crochet, make one. Into this next space, make two double crochets. On top of the double crochet, make one, and then one double crochet. Again, one double crochet on top of the double crochet, two double crochets into this chain one space, one double crochet on top of the double crochet and then one double crochet into the next space we're not going to make too many increases in this row because the yoke is going to start to get wavy and we don't want that so continue like this into one chain one space make two then one two one two one and then so on continue i'll meet you at the end of this seventh row to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this seventh row. I have a total of 169 double crochets. Now for the eighth row, chain two and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one. Continue like this to the end of this eighth row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished the eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, I have a total of 85 double crochets separated by one chain. Now, the yoke is done. This is what it looks like. Here it is. Now, what I'm going to do next before we divide the sleeves, that's why I have my stitch markers here, uh, we're not going to continue with the white yarn just yet. What I plan to do here is, this is optional, I plan to do um, a little trim here in the middle of the rows where we did the double crochet chain one. So right here into these rows. So it would be row, let's see, one, 
three, five, and seven. So before we do that, here I put a stitch marker just to hold my stitch here in place. I'll come back to this place here once we start to divide the sleeves. So in the meantime, I want you to turn your work like this. This is going to be the right side. So the eighth row was worked from the wrong side out. So this here is the right side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. This is where I have this end of the yarn where I did my chain. So beginning here into the first row, of single crochets we have a double crochet chain one double crochet and right in the middle we have this single crochet so insert your hook there make sure that you're doing this on the right side like I told you here's the end of the eighth row so just turn this like this this is the right side now so we're going to go on the opposite side like I showed you here and into the first single crochet here of the first row insert your hook like this we're going to do these rows from the bottom up so insert your hook here I'm going to use this pink yarn so grab a loop here now chain one and into this same stitch here make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain two and into the next single crochet that's between these two double crochets so right here again insert your hook from the bottom up like this and make a single crochet three chains single crochet again chain two jump to the next single crochet between the next two double crochets so right here make a single crochet chain three single crochet one more time chain two jump to the next single crochet between the next two double crochets so right here make a single crochet three chains single crochet and that's all we're going to do here all around for this first row and that's what it looks like now continue like this I will meet you here at, at this other end to show you how we're going to do the next three rows okay I finished making this first row of chains here at the end into this last single crochet I did my single crochet three chain single crochet and then I cut my yarn and then I just joined here to the side where we have these chains with a slip stitch and this part here is done that's what it looks like now you're going to do exactly the same thing we did here in this row you're going to do it in the third fifth and seventh row so here to start you off we're going to go here to this side uh, unfortunately you're going to have to cut your yarn at the end of every row when we do this part here so we're going to go right here this is the third row this is a double crochet row so right in the middle of these two double crochets right here insert your hook like this from the bottom up insert your hook and grab a loop here now this is all optional I Keep repeating this because you don't have to do this I know this is a lot of work if you want to leave the yoke like this it's fine it's beautiful you can just continue with the rest but you know I always like to add that special touch to my designs so here we're going to chain one and into the same stitch here make a single crochet three chains single crochet two chains jump to the next space between the next two double crochets so right here make a single crochet three chains single crochet two chains jump to the next space between the next two double crochets so right here and do the same thing single crochet three chains single crochet this is how you're going to continue all the way to the other end and then you're going to do exactly the same thing for the fifth and seventh row so right here and right here I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera then I'll come back and show you um, what it looks like here when you finish this row the second row here you're going to finish here and in the same way 
you're just going to join here to the side with a slip stitch, cut your yarn, and pass your yarn through that last loop. And then repeat the same thing here on this other side. So continue, and then I'll come back and show you the finished yoke. Okay, I finished making these rows here for the yoke. Here's the first, second, third, and fourth row. Remember that these rows here, we did them in row one, three, five, and seven of the yoke. And that's what it looks like. Now, stay tuned for a little dress. I think this would make a beautiful little dress. Look how beautiful that looks. So I'll go ahead and do that as well. So here, we're going to now continue and divide the sleeves. Don't worry about these ends here. We're going to hide them once we do the edge here. So don't worry about it for now. Now we're going to continue and divide the sleeves here in the next row. So at the end of the eighth row, I told you we had 85 double crochets. So to divide the sleeves for each from panel, we're going to have 12 double crochets. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. Then I put a stitch marker. For the sleeves, you should have 18. Let's see, that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18 double crochets, put a stitch marker. Now for the back side, we should have 25. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. Put a stitch marker into the 13th double crochet right here. When we count from here to here, there's 25, so put a stitch marker right in the center into this 13th double crochet. That's marking the center here. And then again, we have the second sleeve. Here you should have 18 double crochets, and then for the second front panel, there's 12. So 12, 18, 25, 18, 12. That's how you're going to divide the sleeves. So let's continue here. I'm going to start here. This is where we left off. This is the end of the eighth row. We're going to start counting rows here. So this is going to be row one because we're going to divide the sleeve. So chain one and turn, beginning on top of this first double crochet, make a single crochet. Now into this first space here, make a shell. Each shell is going to consist of four double crochets. One, two, three, four now chain one into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain one into the next chain one space make a shell chain one into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain one and into the next chain one space make a shell this is how I'm going to continue until I come to the first stitch marker. So shell, chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell, chain one, and into this last chain one space here, make a single crochet. Now for this front panel, you should have six shells, two, four, six. Now to divide the sleeve, chain four, skip 18 double crochets, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Now into this chain one space here, where I have the stitch marker, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next chain one space after the stitch marker, make a shell. Here we're going to continue in the same way I did for the front panel until I come to that stitch marker. This is the 13th double crochet. So we're going to make a slight adjustment there. So, so I have my first shell for the back side, chain one, then single crochet, chain one, shell. I'm going to show you this part here. Chain one, 
single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Now chain one. Now here we have the stitch marker marking the 13th double crochet. And right next to this double crochet, we have two spaces. We're not going to do anything into these two spaces. So here to continue with the same sequence, I need to do a single crochet chain one. So I'm going to do it on top of the 13th double crochet. So right here. Now chain one, skip this space and into the next space here, make a shell. We're going to do this so that when we finish the back side, I don't end with a shell. I want to end with a single crochet right here. So that's why we're doing this adjustment. So let me show you what it looks like. Here's my last shell into this space. Here's the next space we're going to skip. And then I did my single crochet on top of the 13th double crochet. I skipped this next space and into the next I did my shell. Now chain one, single crochet chain one, and then shell. I'm going to show you this part here so that you can see. And I want to make sure that you all do it correctly. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, shell. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, oops, and then shell. Chain one, and into this last chain one space before the stitch marker, make a single crochet. So let me count my shells for you so that you have exactly the same. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve shells for the back side. And let me count your single crochets beginning here, where after dividing the sleeve, we have the first single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 single crochets. So 12 shells and 13 single crochets. Now we have our stitch marker here. That means we need to divide the sleeve. So chain four, skip these 18 double crochets, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And into this, chain space where we have a stitch marker, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the next chain one space, make a shell. Now here you're just going to continue on your own and finish this first row. So shell, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and then shell. So you would do your shell here, single shell, single shell, single shell, single shell, and then we're going to finish with a single crochet on top of the last double crochet. Continue, finish this first row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. Here's my last shell into this last chain one space. Now to finish here at the end, do not chain one at the end. 
just go on top of the last double crochet here and make a single crochet. And here is the first row. That's what it looks like. Now, each one of the front panels, there are six shells. And then for the back side, as I told you, there's 12. So we have a total of 24 shells for this first row. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to continue here with the second row. So chain three here, one, two, three, turn. Now we have the first shell here. We have four double crochets. Make two front post double crochets. Chain one, two front post double crochets. Again, we have the second shell, same thing. Into the first two double crochets, make a front post double crochet. Chain one, and then again, two front post double crochets. This is how we're going to continue for these six shells here. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this front panel. These are front post double crochets. Now we have the four chains here under the sleeve. Into the first chain, make a double crochet. Into the second, make a double crochet. Chain one and then into the third a double crochet and into the fourth a double crochet here under the sleeve i'm going to add an extra shell in this row so this here is going to be our shell now for the back side we're going to do the same thing two front post double crochets chain one and then two front post double crochets continue like this now, when you come here to the second sleeve, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet, and then continue for the front panel. It's exactly the same thing we did here. Continue, finish this second row, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did front post double crochets. Under each one of the sleeves, we added a shell. So at the end of this second row, you should have 26 shells. Now to finish this row here, on top of this last single crochet here, make a double crochet. And this is how I finished the second row with 26 shells. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now make a single crochet on top of this first double crochet, and then we have the first shell. Inside each one of the chain one spaces of each shell, we're going to make a shell, and in between the shells here, right here, we make a single crochet chain one. So let me show you. Here at the beginning, we don't chain one, which is go straight to the first chain one space of the first shell and make the first shell. So that's four double crochets. Now chain one in the middle of the two shells here, in between, make a single crochet, chain one. Into the next shell, same thing, make a shell. Chain one in the middle of the two shells here, make a single crochet, chain one, and on top of the next shell, a shell. Chain one in the middle, make a single crochet, chain one, and then a shell. I'm going to show you this part here until I come to the first sleeve. chain one, single crochet, chain one, and make the last shell for this front panel. Okay, so here we have six shells, two, four, six, chain one. We have the shell we added under the sleeve and right in the middle of the last shell for the front panel and this shell here make a single crochet chain one 
inside the chain one space of this shell under the sleeve make a shell chain one and in the middle between the first shell for the back side and this shell make a single crochet chain one and then make a shell into the first shell for the back side and then you're just going to continue and do the same thing until you come to the second sleeve where you're going to repeat exactly the same thing that i did here you're going to make a single crochet shell single crochet and then continue so do exactly the same thing here continue for the front panel and then finish the third row i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this third row. In this row, we did these shells. I have a total of 26 shells. Now, to finish this row, every time you have to repeat the row of shells, all you do is we have here at the end of three chains, so into the second chain, here at the end, make a single crochet. Now, for the fourth row, chain three and turn. In this fourth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the second row, where we did front post double crochets. So beginning here, we have the first shell into the first two double crochets, make a front post double crochet, chain one, and then two front post double crochets. Same thing for the second shell, two front post double crochets, chain one, two front post double crochets. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did front post double crochets. I have 26 shells. From here on, we're always going to have 26 shells. Now, to finish this row, every time you have to repeat this row, you're just going to go on top of the last single crochet here and make a double crochet. And this is how I finished the fourth row. Now, from here on, these are the two rows that you're going to repeat the third row and the fourth row for the rest of the sweater. So here to start you off for the fifth row, we're going to chain one and turn. Here, beginning on top of the first double crochet here, make a single crochet. And then inside each one of the shells into the chain one space, we make shells. And then in the middle of the shells, we make single crochet. So let me show you. Here we have the first shell, make a shell into this chain one space. chain one and then in the middle make a single crochet chain one and then a shell into the next shell chain one in the middle of the shells make a single crochet chain one and then a shell this is all we're going to do to the end of this fifth row when you get to the end of this row right here you're going to finish by making a single crochet into the second chain then you're going to chain three and turn and then repeat the same thing we did here for the fourth row where we did the row of front post double crochets and then you're going to continue like that and repeat these two rows now i'm not sure exactly how many rows i'm going to do here for my little sweater but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making the bottom part of this sweater i have done a total of 18 rows so from here we have 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 rows now this part here is measuring let's see from the top of the neckline let's see up to the bottom of the last row it's about 26 centimeters which is about 10.25 inches if you want to make this part here longer you can you can just add more rows just make sure that the last row that you do is the row from post double crochets now here at the end of this 18th row i went ahead and cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop so i'm going to now continue with the pink yarn to do this first row here for the bottom of the sweater, I'm going to insert my hook here on top of the last double crochet um, of row 18. So insert your hook there, and I'm using the same hook size here. Grab a loop here, I'm using the pink yarn. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two. Now, we have the first shell, we have four double crochets. Into the first double crochet here, make a front post double crochet. 
into the next a back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet back post double crochet and then we have the second shell same thing front post double crochet back post double crochet front post double crochet and back post double crochet this is all we're going to do for this first row so continue i will meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this first row of front post and back post double crochets now here at the end i have the last chain here into the second chain here make a double crochet now we're going to do the same thing for the second row so chain two and turn here we're going to do the same thing we're going to work these stitches in the same way this stitch here the second stitch is a front post double crochet so make a front post double crochet the next one is a back post double crochet so make a back post double crochet so front post double crochet back post double crochet and so on this is all we're going to do for the rest of the bottom part here of the sweater when you finish this second row you're going to go here into the second chain right here remember the first row we started with two chains so into the second chain you're going to make your last double crochet then chain two turn and then repeat the same thing i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do here for the bottom of the sweater but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row okay i finished making this part here i only did three rows here a front post and back post double crochets now don't cut your yarn we're going to continue along the side here of the front panel so to do this i'm going to chain one and here i have the last double crochet that i did for the third row of front post and back post double crochets so into this space here make a half double crochet actually make two half double crochets so two half double crochets there and then into the next row here make one into the next row make two so here for this part here i have five half double crochets two three four five now i have the first row in white so into this row here make two half double crochets and then we have the row where we finished with a single crochet so into this row make one half double crochet into the next row make two from here on continue with two one two one two one okay that's how you're going to continue for this part here continue watching i will let you know how many half double crochets i'm going to have so that you can do the same thing so continue and i'll meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making these half double crochets for this front panel now i have a total of 46 half double crochets now my last half double crochet i did here into the row of chain so right there so that's uh number 46 now there is no right or wrong way of doing this you can have i don't know two three four stitches less or more than mine it's okay the important thing is that when we do the other side you do exactly the same number of half double crochets for me i have 46 so here i'm going to continue with these 46 half double crochets so for the second and third row we're going to chain one and turn here beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet into the second make a front post half double crochet into the next one a back post half double crochet and into the next one front post half double crochet this is all i'm going to do here for this second row one front post half double crochet then a back post half double crochet continue like this until you come here to the bottom i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the bottom this is the second row of front post and back post half double crochets now here at the end on top of the last half double crochet make a half double crochet now for the third row chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet and then we're going to work front post 
half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. This is how we're going to continue for this third row. So continue, I'll meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the third row here for this front panel. Now we're going to continue along the neckline. So here to start, we're going to chain one. Now here's my last half double crochet. So into this space here, make one half double crochet. Into the next, make one half double crochet. And into the next row, make a half double crochet. So here I have three half double crochets. Now for the neckline, I'm going to go into this space right here. Make a half double crochet and then in the middle of these two single crochets make a half double crochet. I'm going to be making these half double crochets in the middle. I'm not going to go on top like this where we have the chains but rather in between the two. Now continue like this all the way to the other side. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these half double crochets around the neckline. I have a total of 64 half double crochets. Now we're going to continue along this front panel and do the same thing we did here on this side. And we're going to do the same number of half double crochets that we did here on this side, we're going to do here on this side. So for me, I had 46. So here to start, chain one, here's my last half double crochet. So make a half double crochet into that space. And then into the next row, make a half double crochet. Then we have this row here at the end, it's a double crochet. So make two half double crochets here. And then we have this row where we start it with two chains, so make one. Then two, one, two, and so on. Now this part here, like I told you, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing is that you do exactly the same number of stitches as you did here for this front panel. This is how I'm going to continue, so I'll do that. I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these half double crochets for the second front panel. I have 46 half double crochets in this first row. Now for the second and third row, we're going to do the same thing we did here. So to start you off, you're going to chain one and turn, beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. And then here I'm going to start with a front post, half double crochet into the second, then back post, half double crochet into the next, front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, and so on. This is how I'm going to continue for this second row. When I finish the second row, I'm going to chain two, turn, and then repeat the same thing for the third row. Finish this second side, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the sleeves. Okay, before I show you the sleeves, I've decided to add one more row here for the front panels, and then we're going to continue around the neckline and then finish um, here at the end. So we're going to do this. Here I finish by making my last half double crochet on top of the last one. Now chain one, turn. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. A half double crochet on top of the next, half double crochet on top of the next, and so on. Here we're not going to make any more front post or back post half double crochets. We're just going to make this row like this, making half double crochets on top of the half double crochets from the previous row, so like this. This is what it looks like from the back, and here's the front. So we're going to do this all the way to the top, and then here around the neckline, we are going to work front post and back post half double crochet. So I'll show you that next, so I will meet you here. Okay, I finished making these half double crochets here for this front panel. This is the fourth row, so we're going to now continue around the neckline. To do this, we're going to chain one. Here's my last half double crochet, so into this, half double crochet here, make one half double crochet. Into the next row, make one. Into the next row, make one. And into the last row here for the front panel, make one more. So here I have four half double crochets since we have four rows here. Now we have the first half double crochet for the 
uh, neckline. So make a front post half double crochet, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. For the neckline, we are going to make front post and back post half double crochets. If you prefer to do half double crochets in the same way that I just did here for the front panel where I just did them on top, then that's fine. You can also do that. That would be up to you. Continue. I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these front post and back post half double crochets around the neckline. Now here I have these next three rows here for the front panel. So into this next space here, make a half double crochet into the next space, a half double crochet. And on top of the last half double crochet here, make a half double crochet. Now chain one, and we're going to work our way down making half double crochets, just like we did here, this front panel. So we're going to go into this last half double crochet that I did, make a half double crochet into the next row, which was the row that we did for the um, neckline, make a half double crochet. And then from here on, you're just going to work one half double crochet on top of each one of these half double crochet from the third row of this front panel. Remember here, we only did three rows. So this here would complete the fourth row. So continue like this all the way to the bottom. I will meet you here after it's done to show you this part here done and then we'll go ahead and move on to the sleeves. Okay, I finished making this last row here of half double crochets. Here at the end, I just did my last half double crochet, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the front panels are all done and that's what it looks like. Now, I did not add any buttonholes here on this side. What I'm using as buttonholes are the spaces in between the rows of front post and back post half double crochets. So right here, right in the very center. So these are my buttonholes. Now these buttons that I'm using, these are 14 millimeter. You can also use 12, 13, or 14 millimeter buttons. Uh, as you can see, the spaces in between these rows are big enough for you to use as buttonholes. So this part here is done and that's what it looks like. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to make the sleeves. To do the sleeves, you're going to do exactly the same thing that I did here on this side. I'm going to show you here on this side. So when you have to do this other side, you're going to do it exactly in the same way. So to start here, we're going to go to this side right under the sleeve. Right here, we have these four chains that we added under the sleeve. And right here in the second row, we added this shell. So right in the middle, right here, insert your hook. Now to make the sleeve, I'm going to be using this three millimeter crochet hook. Now, if you're making this sweater smaller or bigger using any other hook size, just go down half a hook size from whichever hook size you started with uh, to make the sweater. Now, you can also continue with the 3.5 millimeter hook. The only thing is that the sleeve here is going to be slightly uh, wider. Uh, if you don't mind that, then go ahead and do it with the same hook size. So here, to begin, we're going to start right here, right in the very center of the sleeve here at the bottom. Now, we're going to be using the same yarn here, so grab a loop here, bring it through the front, chain three. One, two, three. Now, into this same space here, make three double crochets. Here, we're going to make our first shell. So the three chains here counts as your first double crochet. So here we have four double crochets. Now we're going to go to the first chain one space. If you remember here around the sleeves, we left um, double crochets, chain ones, double crochet, chain one. So into the first chain one space, which is the same one where uh, we did this single crochet to divide the sleeve. So into this same space here, make a single crochet. Now into the next chain one space, make a shell. So four double crochets. Now into the next chain one space, make a single crochet and into the next chain one space, make a shell. This is how you're going to continue all around the sleeve for this first row. And then single crochet. Continue all around. I will meet you here at the end, right here into this last chain one space, right here to show you what we need to do next. 
I'm here at this other side of the sleeve. This is the first row. I have my last shell here and I have this last chain one space. Now in this last chain one space, there's a single crochet here. So into this same chain one space here, make a single crochet. And now to finish this row, we're going to go into the third chain here of the first shell that we did and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row with a total of 10 shells and I also have 10 single crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to turn here like this. Now here we have the first shell into the first double crochet of this first shell, make a front post slip stitch, chain three, and into the next three double crochets, make a front post double crochet. Now jump to the next shell and do the same thing, four front post double crochets. Now there's a difference between these shells that we're making here for the sleeve and the ones that we did here for the body. We were making two front post double crochets, then chain one and then two front post double crochets. For the sleeves, I'm not going to chain one because I want my sleeves to be a, a bit more closed, not too open, so that's why I'm going to do it this way. So here you're just going to continue and make four front post double crochets on each shell. Continue like this all around for this second row. I will meet you here at the end right here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row here into the last shell which is the first one that we did in the first row right in the middle here of the sleeve. I did my last four front post double crochets. Now to finish I have the first double crochet here which are the three chains so go into the third chain and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now for the third row we're going to turn, don't chain or anything just turn now here into this space between the last shell that we did and the first shell that we did here right in the center here make a single crochet now we have the next four double crochets right in the middle of these four double crochets so two and two double crochets on both sides right in the middle here make your first shell for this row Now in the middle of the shells, so right here, make a single crochet and in the middle of the next four double crochets, make your shell. Now notice that when we make these shells and we make the single crochets, we're not chaining one after the shell nor after the single crochet. Here we did, but here I'm not in the middle single crochet. And in the middle of these four, make your next shell. This is all I'm going to do for this third row all around. In the middle, single crochet. And that's what it looks like. Continue like this all around. I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is my last shell. I have 10 shells all around. Now to finish this row and all the rows to follow when you have to repeat the row of shells, all you have to do is just go right here where we have the first single crochet that we did to begin the row and join with a slip stitch. And here's the third row with 10 shells. Now from here on, like I said, you're going to repeat these two rows, the row of shells and the row from post double crochets. So to start you off for the fourth row, we're just going to turn here. And in this fourth row, we have to do the row of front post double crochets. So here to begin, we have this last shell that we did in the previous row into the first double crochet right here insert your hook like this and make a front post slip stitch now chain three and then make three front post double crochets one two three now we have the next shell same thing you're going to make four front post double crochets and this is all we're going to do for the rest of the sleeve 
you're just going to continue and repeat these two rows. Now, to finish this row, remember, you just go here into the third chain, join with a slip stitch, then you're going to turn, and in the space that is left between the last and the first shell right here, you're going to make a single crochet and then make your shell in the middle of the four double crochets here. And then you're going to continue and repeat those two rows again. Now, we're going to do this for a total of 22 rows. So once we finish this part, I'll come back and show you how to do the cuff. Okay, I finished making the sleeve. I did a total of 22 rows. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 rows. My last row here is the row of front post double crochets. Here to finish, I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now, the sleeve here, from here up to here, it's measuring about 7 inches, which is about 18 centimeters. Now, what we're going to do is the cuff. So we're going to do a total here of 3 rows of front post and back post double crochets so we're going to start right here this is the right side so right here right in the middle of these two shells this is where we finish so right into this space right here grab a loop I'm going to use this pink yarn so here we're going to chain one and then we have these first four double crochets into the first double crochet make a front post double crochet into the second a back post double crochet into the third front post double crochet and into the fourth back post double crochet and then again we're going to repeat the same thing into the next four front post double crochet back post double crochet front post back post and so on this is all we're going to do for this first row all around so when you finish here you're going to go on top of the first double crochet right here and join with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing for the second and the third row you're going to start with a front post back post front post back post and so on continue like this let's finish these three rows and then i'll come back and show you the finished sweater Okay, I finished making the third row here for the cuff here at the end. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop, and the sleeve is all done. And this is what it looks like. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here on this side. You're going to do it here on this side. It's done exactly in the same way. You're going to start in the same way, and you're going to do everything exactly as I showed you here for this sleeve. Now the little jacket is all done. That's what it looks like. Here's the yoke, that's what it looks like. Here's the bottom, very pretty. And here's the back side. There it is. Now, let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline down to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 11.5 inches, which is about 29 centimeters. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 7.5 inches, which is about 19 centimeters. Now this part here, from under the arm right across, it's measuring about 4.75 inches, which is about 12 centimeters. Now, from the top of the neckline down to the end here, it's measuring about 12 inches, which is about 30.5 centimeters. And the chest area, just the top, it's measuring about 11 inches, which is about 28 centimeters. So based on these measurements, this little sweater here is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. I'd say from zero to three months and up to 12 to 24 months. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. So be sure to check that out. So the little jacket is all done. Now this little jacket here, coat or sweater, I made it to match the little blanket that I showed you. Well, not so little. This baby blanket here, I'll leave the link to this tutorial down here in the information box. So be sure to check that out. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.